This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by 23andMe. What did we learn building PrinterBot Simple, a $300 3D printer? Let's head down to the lab. Patrick Norton here down in the Techzilla lab with the PrinterBot Simple. This is the PrinterBot Simple, a $300 3D printer. You build it yourself. It is amazing. But there's five big things we learned building the PrinterBot Simple. I mean, you're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm on the Thingiverse. I'm going to download this really cool birdhouse. I'm going to print it out. It's going to be incredible. Slow down because there's a few steps along the way. Number one, printing in 3D takes a lot of time. This tiny five millimeter calibration cube, 12 minutes and 37 seconds. This is like a classic first object that you print out to actually make sure everything is calibrated and working correctly. It's got some bridges built in, it's got the steps built in, it's measurable, 12 minutes and 37 seconds. So something really cool that's really big is gonna take a lot of time. Number two, 3D printing is a lot more complicated than printing on paper, okay, I get it, it's 0.3 millimeter strands of plastic being injected with precision out of an extruder head to create a model up to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. But when you first open the Repetier software and you start configuring settings, your eyes are gonna explode because you have to download an SDL file, you have to slice it. And over time, you're gonna tweak your settings and learn because certain types of models will like certain settings more than others to get the best results. This stuff is really bleeding edge and it's really exciting, but you're gonna have to be patient. Uh, number three, if you're not mechanically inclined, you need to be super patient building the simple. Um, there's like 47 major steps in building this. I thought the instructions were pretty good, but I've also been building hardware and taking things apart since I was like four years old. Um, there is enough to learn about printing 3D without actually building the hardware yourself, because printing in 3D is really wild stuff. Uh, what you're printing in 3D, the, the STL files, the lithography files. If you're not downloading from someplace like Thingiverse, that means you actually like, I want to make a thing to do a thing. You have to learn how to use 3D design software. This is going to be the hardest part for me, bar none, because I am always terrible with 3D design software, but this is making me want to learn this skill in the worst possible way. Number five, biggest one of all, holy crap, this is incredibly cool and there is a lot to learn. 3D printing is evolving fast and furious and I'm sure there's gonna be a whole bunch more low cost 3D printers in the none too distant future, but right now I gotta say, the PrinterBot Simple, amazing, affordable, and unbelievably cool. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Hey, you got 3D printer questions? We're learning ourselves and we wanna take you along for the ride. Please email us at revision3.com, techzilla at revision3.com, or tweet us at techzilla and use 3D printing in the subject line or hashtag 3D printing in your tweet so we can help sort the waft of information we get from you guys every single time. I feel so space age. I feel so Jetsons. I, I am impressed with the detail. The resolution of the printhead is, is pretty impressive for a device that in it, affordable. Screw jetpacks, I've got a 3D <laughs> printer. Hey, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Have you ever been curious about your genetic background, about what you might learn about your DNA? I was, and that's why I use 23andMe. 23andMe enables anyone to explore their own DNA. Now, it's based on a saliva analysis of approximately one million data points in your DNA. Customers receive over 200 personalized reports that cover health risks, physical traits, carrier status for conditions that could be passed on to children, and tons more. 23andMe first offered their personal genome service in November 2007 for $999, and it only provided 14 reports. But today you can get over 200 reports, all for 99 bucks. Isn't the evolution of technology amazing? Now, it may sound intimidating, but 23andMe makes the whole process really simple. First, you buy a DNA kit online, then you mail in your saliva sample, postage is included, and after a few weeks, you receive over 200 health, trait, and ancestry reports. Heck, I've used it and I can't recommend it enough. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today. Check out 23andMe.com slash to learn more.